MPs have stood accused of neglecting the worst cost of living crisis in decades. Thousands of households are struggling to come to terms with rising fuel costs, energy generally, and of course food prices going up and increasing. All the predictions of inflation are that they're heading to historic levels that we've not seen perhaps for 25, 30 years. Well, here to talk about it is Helen Barnard of the Joseph Rowntree Foundation. And there she is. Um, blunt question. We also report on people getting cross because they can't get out of airports quickly enough. They're having their holidays cancelled uh, and that the queues outside McDonald's and the rest of it are as long as they've ever been. Are we being misled about the cost of living crisis or is it being sorted out by people like you and the food banks? Well, I mean, I don't think it's being sorted out, but I think that there is there are a group of people who actually came through the pandemic financially in very good shape. They built up uh, savings. They weren't able to go out and eat and so on. They now want to get back to having holidays. Um, but there is another group of people at the bottom who, for whom their experience was that they were already struggling, they lost income, they ran down savings, they built up debt through the pandemic, and now they're facing this incredibly harsh cost of living crisis. And there's really two big dimensions we're seeing at the moment. One is people going without essentials, about 7 million people at the bottom who are having to do without, you know, the basics like food and showers and toiletries, although and heating and also debt. So you've also got around more than 4 million people who are in arrears with debt already. And you've got millions of people actually taking on personal debt in order just to try and keep up with the bills, which includes quite a lot who are taking up very high cost and high risk debt, kind of doorstep lenders, loan sharks. So these two things are really accumulating for those at the bottom. And they are facing, you know, we're talking about a political crisis. People are facing a kind of yeah. daily, weekly financial crisis.